Hello friends, welcome to part 30 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We're playing on ultra hard difficulty and check this out. I was just here. Oh, let me show on the map actually. Okay, I'm actually going to go to Meridian um, so I can... I don't know, I want to see what this is. Hunting for the Lodge. Talk to Ligon. So we're going to do that. However, I was just doing a tiny bit of exploring. I just came down here to get this um, uh, camp here, right? But look at this. <laughs> look at the view of the city. And now I understand what the spire is. It's actually this thing here. Oh, I just killed, <laughs> I just killed something. <laughs> One sec, let me grab that. Oh, it's a turkey. I'm sorry, turkey. It was not intentional. All right, so this thing here. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit more. All right, the more I look at it, it's definitely not made by humans. This is actually machine made. So that's the spire that the Meridian have, um, you know, kind of idolized. So that's pretty awesome, man. Anyway, let's get that campfire. And we're going to teleport straight back up. So anyway, last episode we took care of... Oh, I can't bring my mount. God damn it. One second. <laughs> yeah, we took care of a bandit camp. Oh, the city's awesome, guys. Uh, so we took care of a bandit camp and just got a few collectibles. And uh, that was pretty much it. I'll explore this a bit later. Hang on, there's a supply crate. All right, unfortunately, I'm going to have to lose my mounts because I can't bring him into the city and he'll disappear. So nothing I can do. Sorry, mount. I'll see you in another life. Okay, so let's go here. Um, I may as well read this. All right, is a side quest or is it an errand? It's an errand. Okay, so it's called Hunting for the Lodge. Level 16. To prove herself to the Hunter's Lodge, Aloy must complete a number of machine hunts. Uh, talk to Ligon and we get an extraordinary reward box and 5,330 XP. So we're going to do that and let's teleport here. All right, guys. So where's the map telling me to go exactly? Is it this way? All right, cool. Or this way. <laughs> Sorry, it's a little bit confusing. I'm still getting used to this diamond um, map marker. Don't pass up these goods. All right, these are the merchants. Um, we're going to talk to them when I've... Let me just show you real quick. All right, as you can see, collectibles. I've now got collectible maps. So once I've got the maps, we're going to talk to the merchants and turn these in. So that's going to be quite exciting. All right, let's keep going. And here we are, guys. Oh, who's that? Where is she? Get out of the way, dude. Jeez, I'm trying to check out this girl here. Damn, she's actually kind of hot, but I can't, yeah, I can't interact with her. Or can I? I met Nora when I was a child. All I remember now is how heavy her boy was. <laughs> no, guys, I love her armor. That's amazing. This is the Karja Blazon. I really want it, but I think I'm missing um, a couple of hearts. Anyway, we're here now. Is there anything to loot? Not really. All right, let's go in. The savior of the Sun King. You would have the marks. Very well, then. Congratulations and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk? Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs, present yourself to the Sun Hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. <laughs> Guys, this dude, I swear, I swear to you, that is Vesemir, uh, Vesemir's voice actor from The Witcher 3. 
I'm going to do some research. I'm pretty certain that's the guy who voices Vesemir. And that's awesome. I may be wrong, but I doubt it. He just sounds uncannily like the voice actor for uh, Vesemir. Right, what have we got here? It's really nice in here, actually. It's really lively. <laughs> This is awesome, guys. Right, what's this? I'll read that in a sec. What's this? By the sun! King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? Marks? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. Um, okay. What edict? King of Odd insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. All right. Are you a member? Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Asaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. All right, marks. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not going to take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. It has. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons. One for 15 half suns, one for 15 full suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Okay, give you my marks. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a hunter's lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Oh. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. Ah, shit. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. This is actually separate. Uh, a new side quest weapons for the lodge, I think that's it. All right, fine. Um, okay, guys, I'm going to have a look at this. Again, if you don't want to see this, I like reading lore and, you know, stuff. If you don't like this, just forward ahead, uh, skip ahead. Okay. Bylaws of the Lodge is a scan glyph. All right. Section one. Preamble. 1. Preamble. 1.1. The hunt is the noblest pursuit of the Sundom, save those of the Sun King and his Sun Priests. The hunt is strength. The hunt is honor. The hunt protects. The hunt preserves. 1.2. What is the hunt but competition? What is competition without rank, honor, and victor? 1.3. The lodge lends law and law to the hunt, <laughs> so all will know who has prevailed. 1.4. Thus the lodge is not just its members and not just its house in Meridian. It is the spirit of the hunt, a code to be honored, an ideal to be lived. 1.5. Only those of the noblest blood can embody the noblest ideals. As such, only Karja males of pure blood may honour the lodge and tread in its house. 1.6. By order of his radiance Avad, 14th Sun King of the Karja, Bylaw 5 of Section 1 is hereby rescinded. Section 2. Membership. 2.1. No hunter shall gain admittance to the lodge without three half sons, one with honor, at any hunting ground. See section 5 below. 2.2. There are two classes of member, hawk being senior, thrush being junior. 2.3. The rank of thrush can only be gained through the sponsorship of a hawk. Each hawk may sponsor only one thrush. 2.4. There can only uh, there can be only seven hawks. A thrush can only become a hawk through the death of his sponsor. Two point five. The hawk who hunts the greatest prey shall become sun hawk and lead the lodge. Two point six. In the event the quality of prey is in dispute, 
The hawk who hunted first shall remain first as sun hawk. Only car sorry, 2.7. Only Carja males of pure bloods may become thrush hawk or sun hawk. 2.8. By order of his radiance, Avad, 14th son king of the Karja bylaw, 7 of section 2 is hereby rescinded. Right, section 3. Okay, proof of the hunt. 3.1. The greatest hunts often bear no witness, therefore a trophy must be kept. 3.2. A trophy may be submitted to the Sunhawk as proof of a victorious hunt. 3.3. A trophy must be intact, undamaged, and from a recent hunt. 3.4. The Sunhawk shall have final authority in any dispute over a trophy's worth. 3.5. Only Karja males of pure blood may submit a trophy to the Sunhawk. 3.6. By order of his radiance of art, 14th Sun King of the Karja, Bylaw 5 of Section 3 is hereby rescinded. Section 4. To protect and serve. 4.1. A hunt for its own sake is noble. A hunt in the service of others is blessed by the sun. 4.2. When called upon, hawks and thrushes must undertake any reasonable hunt asked of them, if, if it serves to protect the citizen, uh, citizens of the Sundom. 4.3. The Sunhawk has sole authority to negotiate any fees or bounties associated with any hunt undertaken by members of the Lodge on behalf of the Sundom. 4.4. Any profit from any hunt undertaken by members of the Lodge on behalf of the Sundom shall be shared by all seven hawks, administered by the Sunhawk. 4.5. Only Karja males of pure bloods may undertake a hunt in the name of the Lodge, be it for the protection of the Sundom or any other reason. 4.6. By order of his radiance of art, 14th Sun King of the Karja, by Law 5 of Section 4, is hereby rescinded. Okay, so I think, I hope this is the last section. All right, section five, hunting grounds. 5.1, for the purposes of training and recruiting the best and greatest hunters, the lodge shall provide and maintain hunting grounds. Each hunting grounds shall test a different range of skills through three trials crafted by its keeper in consultation with the Sunhawk. There shall be three rewards for each trial in ascending order of performance, half sun, full sun and blazing sun. 5.4. Hunters who prove themselves by winning the requisite number of suns may be entitled to special gear at the lodge, at the discretion of the Sunhawk. 5.5. The lodge shall provide funds for the construction and maintenance of all trials and facilities at hunting grounds. 5.6. The Lodge shall receive all profits associated with the sale of parts, ammunition and equipment from all hunting grounds. 5.7. Any profits received from hunting grounds shall be shared by all seven hawks, administered by the Sunhawk. 5.8. Keepers shall be chosen exclusively by the Sunhawk and serve for a term of seven years. 5.9. Only Karja males of pure bloods may be appointed keeper. 5.10. By order of his radiance of art, 14th Sun King of the Karja, by law 9 of section 5 is hereby rescinded. All right, guys, that was a lot to read. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but like I said, when I run into these things, I'm interested and I hope this will also interest others who are into law. Uh, if you're not, skip ahead. It's not a problem. All right, what have we got here? Oh, there's people here. Typical savage. Barging in here without a thought. Right after one of our own was killed. Go away. Screw you. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Assis. What is this? Huh, okay. It's a very large machine. Oh, I can spot another thing to read, but we're going to read that afterwards, guys. We'll read that afterwards. Are you Assis? So many come to no, you're not. Oh, it's him. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the savage lands. The sacred land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. 
But that is what you're doing, right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. What the? Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. Oh my god. <laughs> this dude is a grade one arsehole. Oh wow, what a bastard. Alright guys, um... All right, we need to find someone called Talana. Let's let me just have a look around. I'm gonna read that thing in just a oh supply crate. Good, so I need that. All right, nothing else, but there is that thing. Okay, so let's have a look at this again, guys. Just uh, skip ahead if you're not interested. All right, record of Redmore one. Okay, the record of Redmore uh, by inquiring Janet. Oh, Jan Dinam man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Jan Dinaman, I think. Historian in residence at the Hunter's Lodge. It is well known that facts recede into fictions as they become memories. And fresh facts themselves are ephir ephemeral. I don't know what that word means, guys. Sorry. Among the rumors and legends of the South. This is especially true in the case of Redmore, the most terrible of thunder jewels. Oh gosh, a machine which is nothing if not legendary. Few who have laid eyes upon it have survived, and among them, even fewer can be trusted not to embellish their tales. All that said, here I have endeavoured to truthfully uh, chronicle all the calamities attributed to the beast, and all the expeditions meant to end such calamities once and for all. None have succeeded. As of this writing, the terror of the South still roams free. Scarred, perhaps, but uh, deadly as the day the sun first shone upon its armoured hide. In the early spring of the 18th year of the reign of the Sun King Jaron, a freehold was destroyed near the hands of the flood. Nine bodies were recovered, eight riddled with cannon rounds, one flattened completely. Jesus. No witnesses survived. Though never proven, this is widely thought to be Redmore's first attack. In the late spring of the 18th year of the reign of the Sun King Jorong, an expedition of four hunters set out from Sunstone Rock to track the machine or machines responsible for the destruction of the Freehold. None returned. Their bodies were subsequently found in the south, three blasted, one stomped. <laughs> Jesus. Never proven, but thought to be Redmore's work. In the early summer of the 18th year of the reign of the Sun King Jaron, an expedition of six mercenaries set out from Meridian to track the machine or machines responsible for the losses described above. One returned, ribs crushed, clavicle fractured. He spoke of a thunderjaw which split a man in half with a single bite. Whoa. This is the first confirmed sighting of the legendary machine and the one which gave it a name. In the late summer of the 18th year of the reign of the Sun King Jaron, an expedition of eight set off from Meridian to track Redmore. None returned. Six bodies were found near Blackwing Snag, one blasted, three stomped, two eviscerated, one swallowed his own tongue, Jesus, evidently in a spasm of terror suffocating. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but it's just funny the way they describe that. In the autumn of the 18th year of his reign, the Sun King Jaron commanded the Hunter's Lodge to send an expedition south in pursuit of Redmore. After numerous logistical delays, three hawks and their thrushes set out in winter. Only one pair returned, reporting the deaths of the others, two blasted, one stomped, one decapitated. The survivors were sacrificed for cowardice, one gutted by a sawtooth, the other skewered by kestrels. After this setback, members of the lodge grew wary pursuing the legendary Thunderjaw. Only the proudest hawks even considered it. 
as aspirants to the lodge, however, foolish in their ambition, eagerly took part in subsequent hunts. In the summer of the 19th year of the reign of the Sun King Geron, the destruction of a caravan south of the Spurflints, three blasted, two stomped, one immolated, reignited interest in Redmore. Three expeditions totaling 15 mercenaries went after the machine, with only three survivors, nine blasted, three stomped, two eviscerated, one liquefied. <laughs> what? How would that even happen? Ugh. Anyway, in the early spring of the 20th century, uh, year, sorry, of the reign of the Sun King Joran, a cohort of 12 soldiers headed from the rain gathers to the a light were set upon by the beast. Only one survived, one blasted, one stomped, ten crushed, when their fleeing, fleeing footsteps triggered an avalanche. Jesus. <laughs> In the late spring of the 20th year of the reign of the Sun King Joran, three cohorts, totaling 34 men, when in search of Redmore, alas, they were ambushed by stalkers and only four survived. I've only fought one stalker, guys, and that was hard enough. 24 sniped, <laughs> six exploded. <laughs> Jesus. Understandably, this ended pursuit of Redmore for some time. In the summer of the first year of the reign of Sun King, uh, Sun King Avad, a group of six Osram traders were attacked by the beast. One blasted, three stomped, one spit into a ravine. The lone survivor petitioned Captain Ursa to send the vanguard after the monster, but the request was denied. However, three additional expeditions comprised of mercenaries and hunters aspiring to the lodge were subsequently commissioned. Autumn, seven men, two blasted, three stomped, one tripped on his own spear, one survivor. Winter, nine men, three blasted, two stomped, two died from frostbites, two survivors. Spring, 11 men, five blasted, one stomped, three retreated off a cliff. <laughs> he jumped off. Two survivors. The last known sighting of Redmore occurred in the spring of the third year of the reign of the Sun King Avad. Tarkas, Hawk of the Lodge, got word of a sighting near Thunderhead and set off to take the beast on his own. His thrush, Talana, isn't Talana the person we're supposed to meet? Arrived at the scene too late, just as Tarkas was dying of his wounds. Multiple uh, perforations. Gosh. Talana testified that as Redmore lumbered off through the trees, she could see the spear of her mentor embedded in its hide. I want to meet this Redmore. <laughs> it's probably going to kill the shit out of me, but I'd like to meet it. All right, just having a look around, guys. We're having a look. Oh, we can't access this. Fine. Oh, there's another thing there. Did I read that? Okay, guys, I'll have a look at that afterwards. Let's just go and find Talana, and we'll move to Quest. But I do like reading these things. Okay, where are you? Oh. Oh, it's her. All right, check it out. Talana? SC said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off, too? It's okay. I've dealt with worse. Mm. I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. Okay. Uh, I know someone died. Has that got anything to do with it? Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to assist the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. All right, today? What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks, people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. Right, Assis. Assis, what's his story? He's the Sunhawk of the Lodge. The highest ranking asshole. <laughs> sorry, remember. <laughs> He's taken down Ravagers, Stalkers, Behemoths. So? I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two Stormbirds. But he's a hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes a sun hawk. Okay, hawk. How does one become a hawk? When a hawk dies, his thrush is promoted in his place. No matter how anyone feels about it. 
Man at the door. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the Lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all the best kills and drink the bar dry. Right, time to get started. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, you'll sponsor me? I'll consider it. Just to make a cease boil. <laughs> okay. Oh, this sounds really difficult, but I want to give it a try, guys. Right, gather three uh, sawtooth trophies. Uh, gather two ravager trophies and gather a... S oh, guys, do I have to fight another stalker? Stalkers are awful. Um, you know what I want to do, guys? I want to go for the hardest one first, which will be a stalker. The Sawtooths I can pretty much take on. Oh, but by the way, remember we did um, Cauldron RHO. Do you remember I can now override Ravagers? So that will come in useful. Um, but anyway, let's um, see what we're working with here. Why well, is it telling me to go there in particular? Okay, that's the Stalker. <laughs> God, I don't know, guys. All right, I tell you what, can you give me a moment? I'm just going to check a trader. I just want one that sells just weapons, really. Would that be you? Right, give me a moment, guys. I don't want a speciality merchant. All I want... What? Yeah, that, hunting goods. Okay, I'll see you over there, guys. All right, we're here now, guys. I've just set it to story mode, so everything will be cheaper. And here we go. Right, I've got 5,000 shards. Oh, what's this? I haven't even seen it. Shadow Blastling. Oh, damn it. 1,400. I do want it, but... Damn it, guys. I really want this. I want Shadow Warbow. I need to hunt Tramplers. I'll do that in between um, an episode. A anyway, whatever. Right, Shadow Sling. What's this? I don't have any crystal braiding. God damn it, man. I don't have a snap more heart. I can't get this either. I want to try this, a shadow rope caster. But I wouldn't mind this. A shadow trip caster. I could put two mods for damage, perhaps. I don't really care about the fire thing, but um, anyway, give me a sec. Rattler, I do want this as well. I, I don't even know what this does, it, but it has like um, bolts in it, so I'm assuming it's going to be like um, a machine gun or at the very least a bazooka, <laughs> RPG or something. All right, here's what I want. I want to get this, so we need to get that at least. So I'm going to buy that for 700 and scrap a heart. Let's equip it here. And let's see if we can get a new outfit, perhaps. No, I want to... Ugh. Okay, let's see if we can get something new. But I need them. Obviously, I need to have materials ready for that. Uh, 40 blaze. Right, that's protection against elements. I'll tell you what I do want. It's actually this. Oh, damn it. Look, I don't know what a charger is, but I need a charger heart. Oh, that sucks, guys, honestly. <laughs> um, wait a minute. What's this? Made from Meridian's finest silks, leathers, and machine parts. This outfit. Offers little protection, but is highly customizable. Okay, this might be interesting. I can make it all stealth. I can make it resist all fire. Guys, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get this. I need a new outfit anyway, so... Let's put, put that. Let's, uh, let me see how it looks. And sorry, I didn't even read what it was. Car just silks heavy. So there's more light here. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it, guys. That's pretty sick. I like it. All right. So we're going up against stalkers. Now, stalkers did a lot of long-range attacks to me. So what that means is uh, they've got like a laser beam, like Predator. And it was really deadly, guys. So maybe I should put something for re resist ranged. Do I not have any... 
any purples. Oh, I've only got fire resist. All right, guys, so let's put ranged attack. So if I put this. <laughs> I haven't got much choice. I've only got these. So I've done one for melee and two for resist um, ranged attacks. Because I do remember they were deadly, guys, honestly. Alright, there's a side quest there, but guys, I'll tackle these as and when we can. Right, so what we need to do is I need to go this way, apparently, to get the stalker. So let's do that. I'll see you down there, guys. Hey, guys. Okay, we're entering the Royal Maze Lands. I think this is like a village just underneath um, the city, which is pretty awesome. All right, um, there's a campfire. Oh, there's two side quests open up. Okay, again, not today. <laughs> not today, but we will tackle these. Let's do a quick save. And I need to get a mount as well. All right, so let's do that. Uh, no, no, I'm awake. That'll... My family might still be alive, and you're going to stand here and do nothing? We've lost a dozen patrols beyond the valley. Our orders are clear. No more. Freeholds were warned. You're talking about orders. All right, well, again, guys, lives. we'll come back to that. <laughs> That's what the orders are for, to save lives. All right, guys. Found a new campsite, or campfire, sorry. All right, so what we need to do is... Grab a strider. I th oh, he's facing me. God damn it, guys. God damn it. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. That's right. You're really busy. <laughs> okay. Don't kick. <laughs> <laughs> don't kick. All right. All right. We're not too far according to the map. So, right. If we get time, we'll grab this metal flower. But, um,. All right, let's go this way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Greece is calling. All right, check this out. All right, ancient Greece calls to you. Will you answer? The Acropolis, Mount uh, Lycabetus, the Temple of Zeus. Imagine them, not as the grimy ruins they are now, but the immaculate monuments they were back then. Holovay K is proud to present the ancient Greece experience, a historically authentic holographic rendering of antiquity, uh, I can't read, Jesus, rendering of antiquity's greatest civilization. Exert full autonomy over your ancient Athenian adventure. Stroll hand in hand with a loved one past the Parthenon, Parthenon. Per perambulate with Socrates, Attend the premiere of a play by Aristophanes. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> the ancient world is yours to discover without leaving your hollow room. Contact us now to discuss rates. Guys, I will sign up for this in a heartbeat. I'd like to explore ancient Egypt, though. That would be amazing. Anyway, enough about that. <laughs> we need to go. Oh, come on. Try this, please. Please, come on. All right, we need to go. Oh, what's that? What's that red thing? Oh, guys, really? Oh, my God. Jesus. Get off. I want to waste my time with these things, man. Jesus. Oh, God. Alright, good. Oh my god, seriously? Wow. Unbelievable. Too far. Oh my god, dude, will he just die? Uh, why didn't you shoot? Aloy, why did you not shoot there? Unbelievable. 
Anyway, before all that bullshit just happened, where's my... My stride is dead. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, the reason I came off the horse, there's these red things. What the hell? Guys? No, that's a Lancelot. I was gonna say I can hear. I can actually hear them. Sorry, my headphones are very, very sensitive. Oh, guys, this is scary. What the hell is going on here? Okay, we need to use a tear arrow to get rid of its guns. There it is. There's the stalker, guys. Well, I can see on the focus, he's still very far. Ah, damn, it's a Lancelot there. Lancelot again. Guys, forgive me. I've only fought this thing one other time. There it is! Piece of shit! Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I dropped it! <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. Don't want to get too excited, though. Right. They're weak to shock, right? Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Jesus. Okay. What's that? Oh shit! Oh shit! God damn it. Okay, I've got blast wires here. Come closer, you bitch. Are oh, you running away, you piece of shit? You coward. Damn it. Oh, please get him, Aloy, please. Alright, nice. Nice. Guys, he ran away. Oh, shit! Shit! I thought it was just one! Oh, I don't know where he is, guys. These things are horrific. Come on. Jesus. Okay. I saw it. I saw it. Guys, you got to give me a bit of credit here because this is nighttime. <laughs> and I can't see these things. Okay, hey, has is his laser off? Jesus! Oh my god, okay. Oh no ammo! God damn it! Jesus! Sorry, I'm really panicked. He's gone behind the tree, the piece of shit. Alright, at least his gun is off. Oh my god, okay. Can you come to the blast wire, please, you stupid bastard? Oh my god, guys, he's just not coming here. Good. Uh, sorry, I'm going quiet. I'm really quiet. I'm just trying to concentrate. Guys, there's three of them. I don't believe this. Alright, please. Are you not dead yet? God damn it, man. Okay, I'm going to ice them up. I don't know what else I could do here. <laughs> okay, that worked. Good. Jesus. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, come on. Seriously? All right, good. Good. One more. Oh, 
I can't. You know what? I'm not going to chase after him. Screw it. All right, let's grab these. Look at that bullshit, man. He knows I was looting, and he came back to hit me. Please, will you die? Please. Pretty, please. Oh my god, okay, guys. I think that's it. God damn it, these things are difficult to fight. <laughs> Very thrilling fight, though, and apologies, no uh, commentary or hardly any commentary, just me panicking. God damn it, that was tough. And it's at night time as well. God damn it. Anyway, so we've done what we set out to do. We've uh, beaten a stalker. I've got a stalker trophy. Let me grab these. I do need these echo shells. I'm not really sure uh, where to farm those. All right, guys, let's speed this up. I'll, I'll get this, I don't know, maybe next video. Right. We need stalkers, not stalkers, uh, sawtooths and ravagers. Give me a second. Um, 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 why is it taking me here? Does it have to be this specific one? I mean, there's sawtooths here, right? So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand. All right, give me a sec, guys. There might be one closer by. One second. Guys, this is taking me all the way here. I wasn't planning on doing that. I want to unlock this um, separately. All right, guys. Sorry, it took a little bit long there. I just had to decide where to go. There's actually ravages here. So we might as well take, take them on. We're going to travel to this campsite. All right, here we go. Okay, they're still pretty far. No, they're not. It's actually very close. Okay. All right. And I think the modifications I've got will work out. Uh, hold on. What is that? Shit. Ravager. Guys, guys, let me try to... Sorry, I was going to say, let me try and override one because apparently we can now. Wait, hold on a minute. Where the hell's... There's going to be two Ravagers. It was just this one. <laughs> Guys, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Aloy, you're so slow. Actually, it's not Aloy's fault. I shouldn't say that. Right, good. We can override it. Come on, come on. Right, there should be another Ravager here. There has to be. What? It's just shell walkers. Guys, I am confused. It's on to me. Alright, alright. Yes, come chase me. Fight fight the Ravager. <laughs> God damn. Come on. Do your job. Oh, oh there it is, guys. Look, the other Ravager. Check it out. I, guys, I would like to look at it properly, but I don't want to aggro the other machines. Alright, who's winning? <laughs> I think my one's getting his ass kicked. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I wish I could look at them properly. Damn it, the shell walker. God damn it. Guys, I've got to admit, this actually is a very hard quest. <laughs> Might not be ready for this. Okay. Right, I'm going to ice him up. I know he's weak to fire, though, isn't he? Shit, the shell walker. God damn it. God damn it, man. Oh, 
shit! Oh, that's a lot of damage. Go away, Shadow Walker. God damn it, I don't want you. Fuck! <laughs> God damn. Oh, why did you miss? No, no, this way! Oh, God. I didn't want this arrow. God damn it. Nice! Okay, good. Okay, grab this real quick. <laughs> go, go, go. Shit, guys, I've got to fight them. I don't have a choice. Oh, my God, this... How do I get rid of the shield? I got it. Like that. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit! No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. Can I ice you? Oh, are you serious? My God. All right, good. <laughs> good. God damn it, man. All right, all I want to get is... Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're getting too close there, buddy. No, I don't want that. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Shit. Okay. Oh, God, I'm stuck. Oh, my God, I'm stuck. This fight has just fallen apart. I'm not going to lie to you. That shield. All right, did I get it? Good, good. One left. One left. Just one. Ah, oh, crap. Just one your arm. I just need to get rid of that. Oh, for Christ's sake. For Christ's sake. Come on. Oh, my God. Got you. Good. <laughs> good. Let's get rid of the shield. Right, let's ice him up. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. We did it, guys. My lord, that was hairy. My goodness. All right, we got through it somehow. <laughs> I got pushed back so far away. My goodness. All right, there's some long legs there. I am not going to mess with them right now. Okay. All right, guys, look, I'm a little bit concerned about something. I don't know where the other Ravager's corpse is. I have no idea. Oh, I found it. Okay, uh, one sec. Oh, my God. <laughs> guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This, um, I, I wasn't thinking it was going to be easy, per se, but I thought it was just going to be a quest like any other. But it is pretty tough. Right, there's the other Ravager, so we need to loot it. And hopefully it will give us another Ravager trophy. Perfect. Oh my god. Okay, Sawtooths are in no way, shape, or form as daunting as those other machines. So we should be okay. Now, it, the map for some reason is telling me to go all the way down here. I don't see why we should do that. There must be other Sawtooths, like this one here. However... All right, give me a minute, guys. All right, guys. Okay, and we're going to go for this one here. I haven't got a camp for that, so let's just go this way. I need to get a broadhead as well. Oh, shit. 
guys, the map said. Oh my god, I don't believe this. Dust won't stop blowing. All right, guys, I can only see one sawtooth, so. Okay, here we go. Jesus! And why are the weather conditions so bad? <laughs> All right, I think he's wounded. That's why he's running. Ah! What the Aloy? I didn't want you to dodge there anyway. Oh, Jesus Christ! All right, nice. Okay. Wow. Oh my god, guys. Jesus. This is terrible. Alright, that's one. Alright, so I should be right in saying if I. Yeah, okay, I just need to have three sawtooths. I was hoping to get all three of them together, but that didn't happen. All right, guys, I just grabbed this uh, broadhead, had a horrible fight with him <laughs> as well. So the sawtooth site should be up here. I just need two. Oh, no, do I have to go up here? Oh, crap. Okay, one sec. One sec. Let's keep going. All right, let me heal. All right, guys. Okay, we got one, two. So I'm gonna make one my buddy. Okay, let me let me put my broad head out of. Oh, geez, the snap walls up up there as well. God damn it. Okay, okay, give me a sec. Let me just park my broad head here. All right, I need to be careful. In fact, guys, let me switch my outfit to the uh, Silent Hunter because I've got more stealth in this. God damn it, I need some grass. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, damn it. Okay, it's fine. He's my buddy. Alright, let me help my sword tooth. <laughs> Good. Wait, is he dead? Oh, nice. Okay, I'm so sorry, Sawtooth. We're no longer friends. Okay, wait, he's going to leap out at me. Give me a sec, guys. No, 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 not yet. Oh, my God. Not now. Ah, shit. Shit. I really wish there was auto reload, guys, honestly. <laughs> I had a shot lined up. That would have worked. Anyway, whatever. All right, guys. We've got the trophy. I need one more. 
Um, listen, this today's episode has been very, very exciting, but it's really terrifying. <laughs> it's actually very difficult. Right, delivered the trophies to Ass Assis. All right, fine. Oh, okay. All right, guys, I'm just going to meet you over there just to make this quicker. All right, guys, we're back at the lodge. Get out of the way. <laughs> All right, where's the seas? Actually, guys, let's talk to Legan. I, I was calling him Ligan. It's actually Legan. The savior of the Sun King. You would have the marks. Very well, then. Congratulations and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No. You're only a fledge. Sorry, this is a repeat. Us, so I need yes. Oh, gosh. Upstairs. What do you mean? You yeah, uh, sorry. My bad. I thought he had a new dialogue, but um, he doesn't. All right, so let's go up here. Hello, bitch. I thought I told you. I'm here to present trophies to the Sunhawk of the Lodge. Three Sawtooths, two Ravagers, and a Stalker for good measure. I suppose Talana helped you with this. I brought these down myself. Will you accept them? Fine, yes. I accept them. But tell Talana she should stop playing with Sludge if she wants to get Red Maw. Wow, this guy's such an asshole, guys, honestly. <laughs> all right, I think we've now completed it. Yeah, it's all over, guys. We've completed Hunters of the Lodge. There's a new side quest, Hunter's Blind, but <laughs> I don't know. We'll do that maybe later on. Uh, just to close out, I'm going to read this. And here we go. Legendary Hunts. And again, if you're not interested, the episode is more or less finished. You don't have to um, sit through this, so it's only optional. Anyway, Legendary Hunts. Legendary Hunts of the Lodge. In the summer of the fourth year of the reign of the Sun King, King Marzid, did Farukawas... Sunhawk of the Lodge beholds an, a herd of grazers so vast that it filled entire the vale below the far back. His bow was a harp that day, strumming the melody of the hunt from noon to twilight. After one could not walk a single step across the glen without tripping on an antler of the fallen. It took all seven hawks and all seven thrushes to gather the trophies and with the bounty from their barter, the last wing of the lodge was raised. In the winter of the seventh year of the reign of the Sun King Hivas, did Darusiv, Hawk of the Lodge, stalk a herd of tramplers from Sand Whisper Valley to the foothills of the Pala Reach. Uh, bombs from his sling fell as hailstones, freezing his prey and the waters of the ford. While the others stood as statues in ice, Hivas set upon the largest driving his spear between its plates and taking his trophy before the rest could even stir. In the spring of the third year of the reign of the Sun King Joran, as the machines of the wilds grew ever more deranged, did Kuvan, Hawk of the Lodge, answer the call from the prefect at Day Tower to slay the mysterious creature who ripped his best cohorts limb from limb. Four days and four nights he tracked his quarry through the savages before the brute was re revealed. Strong as Snapmore, uh, fast as Strider, from twilight to midnight the battle raged, but Kuvam prevailed at great cost. His left arm chewed, Jesus, ragged at the joint. Thus he named the beast Sawtooth. Okay, interesting. As he took his trophy from its shattered remains. In the autumn of the eighth year of the reign of the Sun King Joran, as the machines of the wilds grew ever more deranged, did Galadid, Ga Galadid, Hawk of the Lodge, follow the shimmering death haunting the southern freeholds into the jungles of the Jewel. Under that tangled canopy, the hunter became the hunted, glimpsing in the shadows more of the eerie light, till he was surrounded by machines he named Stalkers. Wow. Long was his fight through the undergrowth to the safety of the alight, but along the way he turned his bow to his pursuers and became the first to snare trophy from that which walks in glinting shadow. <laughs> I love all this, guys. 
In the summer of the 13th year of the reign of the Sun King Joran, as the machines of the wilds grew ever more deranged, did Assis, Hawk of the Lodge, dare to tread the path of broken trees, following the wake of the terrible thing that laid waste to the freeholds of morning light. And so he was first to face the might of the Thunderjaw, greatest of machines that walked the earth. With spear, bomb and arrow, brave Assis fought to no avail, and only triumphed by turning the terror's own cannons against it. The carcass of the beast now hangs in the lodge for all to see, so enshrines because its fall turned hawk to sunhawk. That's awesome. <laughs> so, wait, hold on, is this... Oh, this is a thunder jaw, guys. Oh my lord, this thing looks super scary. All right, where's his face? Okay, that's his head. Guys, this is intimidating, man. And we actually have to fight this soon. <laughs> God damn it. All right, anyway, listen, we're going to leave it there. This was uh, quite a long episode, actually. I'm going to have to edit it down just to make it a little bit more trimmed but um i really enjoyed it i did and apologies i went quiet for a lot a lot of the quest it was just it kind of requires all of your concentration to fight these machines especially on ultra hard and i'm not really a good shooters person anyway but i am trying i'm trying to improve guys anyway i hope you enjoyed yourselves we'll catch you in the next video and i think we'll do talana's uh quest hunters blind we'll try that out anyway thank you very much for joining me today and i'll see you in the next video take care